The Ada Pump feels eminent for amazing TA indicators to make us bullish here. And we're going to look at the markets, what is already pumping out there, and the latest news overseas that gives us a date for peak liquidity in what is left in 2024. Welcome into the Ada Boys, where every day on this channel, we talk about things we like in crypto, mostly on Cardano. I'm Gavin Dawson. Tex has the day off. Send him some love on social media. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm just a newsman. OK, let's take a look at what is happening here. Let me go ahead and uh, and share the screen. Here we go. Let's take a look at what is pumping, what price is doing. And we'll get into some ADA TA reasons to believe here in just a second. Please like that video on your way in. If you wouldn't mind, that would be amazing. Helps us grow on tap tools. OK, our beloved Cardano native tokens are relatively flat with a couple of spikes. Dedium is up 7%. SNEC is uh, up, what, uh, almost 3% now. Sky up 7 Noom is up 8%. World Mobile Token is down here just short of 4% after pumping yesterday. Still up 6% in the last week. Inside the crypto uh, top 10, Bitcoin at 62.7. It's dipped and now spent most of the last 48 hours in the 63 range. Uh, Ethereum down a couple of percent there to 25.96. Look at uh, look at ADA though, 36.6 cents. It's been at 37 and a half cents. Still up three and a half percent in the last 24 hours and up 10 percent in the last day. So that is the good news as long as we hold support. But we do have a red candle over here on the four hour chart as we come to you a uh, Tuesday uh, mid morning your central time zone in the US had a you know that the chart on the daily is great the stock RSI here on the four hours is nice as, as well sitting in the high 80s we could be up here another couple of days or another week or so it is important to climb uh, over 41 cents which was our local high here to confirm a trend reversal with us moving to the upside so i don't think we can get too excited until it, it hits you know 42 cents and closes over there but there is a lot of technical reasons we're going to go to the story here from the crypto basic a significant list of reasons they've put together bullish engulfing candle on the four hour chart leading to the breakout above the 618 Fibonacci level. They have that. The 50 and 200 EMA have formed a golden crossover on the four hour chart. The 100 and 200 EMA are nearing a bullish crossover. The MACD and signal lines have also regained positive alignment and bullish histograms are making a return as well on the uh, ADA chart. So quite a bit of, of good reasons. Cardano's price could reclaim 40 cents with the next target at the 1618 FIB level, which is at 45. And then, you know, we start to look at um, the high from the spring or late winter, which was at 80 cents. Not only do you have all these uh, uh, TA reasons, but DZ, maybe one of the bigger uh, or the biggest accounts that, you know, pays attention and is actually bullish on Cardano, taking a look at the bullish div that appeared on the four hour chart back on the 22nd. That was just yesterday, right? Um, and that played out and has contributed to, uh, to quite a pump. So salute to DZ, salute to Altcoin Daily and the guys with the bigger accounts who, you know, aren't falling for the ADA FUD which is just, it's its coming in chorus from so many of the bigger accounts. And it's about to be one of the greatest hated rallies we've we've ever seen. But it could be a lot better if, you know, we didn't have to fight the, uh, the, the crosswinds like this, the headwinds. Okay, we go to a virtual bacon. Let me bang through a ton of the big picture crypto news events on the day here. Poly Markets considering a token launch to raise over $50 million, potentially aiding the operation of its crypto betting platform. Uh, Poly Market, a fun place you can bet on all sorts of things. House Republican senators have urged the SEC to rescind uh, 121, claiming it disrupts crypto custody, stifles innovation, and evades standard rulemaking processes. BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF now requires Coinbase to pro process withdrawals within 12 hours amid concerns over on-chain settlement transparency. Uh, Mango Markets considering a $500,000 settlement with the CFTC amid an ongoing investigation. 
uh, avoiding potential litigation from the regulator. Global crypto investment products saw 321 million in net week inflows driven by a US Federal Reserve rate cut with Bitcoin dominating the flows. Despite China's 2021 crypto ban, its miners still control 55% of Bitcoin's hash rate. U.S. pools handle 40% serving institutional miners. And check this out. DuckChain has launched Testnet uh, integrates Telegram Star for uh, gas payments, aiming to boost ton ecosystem adoption with EVM and Web3 tools. Basically, the Telegram ecosystem is investing in infrastructure. It's definitely something to be looking at, considering there are 1 billion users on Telegram. If they can leverage that and put those people in the crypto game, uh, it's going to be a potential game changer and, uh, you know, a potential kingmaker, I think, if you look at how much influence Telegram has already and how many users they have. It's got to be them and Elon with X, you know, that have the potential for mainstream adoption, not by attracting users into Web3, but by basically taking Web3 to where they already are. Raul Paul signaling a belief that global liquidity is about to skyrocket. He has some alpha here, says the, he loves the smell of more cowbell, which is what he refers to uh, for turning the money, money printers on. The everything code is in full play, and this is around the third inning. He says, uh, remember, markets lag global liquidity by 10 weeks. New China stimulus doesn't even appear on the chart yet. So this is prior to today's announcement. Um, he is referring to news out of China. They are cutting rates and they're increasing the amount of money banks can loan out according to the reserve ratio requirements. They've already cut rates and this is their second round hoping to stimulate the economy. So the first round is going to uh, you know play out in the coming uh, six to eight weeks and then he uh you know if you do the math on what 10 weeks is from here that would put us in early to mid december in the lead up to the holidays where um you know traditionally they love to have the economy economy absolutely roaring so retail can capitalize salute to pete from learn cardano he has a video up on the Bitcoin news we had yesterday, new script written on Plutus that allows Bitcoin wallets to interact directly with Cardano, Pizza Cardano ambassador, a terrific channel to learn from. I retweeted this uh, at Dawson Crypto if you just want to find it uh, like that, it, it might be easy and I'd, I'd appreciate the follow. But there have been a lot of reactions from Charles Hoskinson to tweets about this upgrade. This is a classic from Jurassic Park. It's clear that Mr. Hoskinson trying to draw attention to this. El Raulito uh, wrote and, and said the TLDR is that it's a seamless bridge between a Bitcoin and Cardano apps that you can use through a Bitcoin wallets. There's no doubt users are becoming quite accustomed to being able to access Ethereum and you know tons of different blockchains there on EVM compatible, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, uh, Rabi Wallet, OKX Wallet. Cardano has been for the most part left out of that entirely up until recently. Now they got like a Snap uh, plugin or something like that that allows you to, you know, open a, a, a Cardano wallet inside of MetaMask. But that's it. Uh, chains like Optimism, Arbitrum, BNB, ZK Sync, on and on, all accessible with your same Ethereum address. So you can understand that's a tremendous advantage for EB, EVM compatible and, and native blockchains. And Cardano has been left out. It's exciting to be integrating with Cardano in such a uh, you know, in an intimate way. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you would put that in, in code or slang, but they're up in that thing. Okay. Uh, here's how I could see myself getting scammed, Data Boys. An official open AIX account was taken over to peddle something Monday about uh, 5 30 Texas time, 6 24 Eastern. Open AI has about 54,000 followers and a now deleted post that was advertising. Uh, the ability to get in on the open AI token there, you know, there it was, um, you know, and I always talk about how you, you need to verify things through official X and discords. And I, I think, you know, this really comes down to double and triple checking. I think one thing you can look for is have the comments been turned off um, of a tweet, 
you know, uh, because that's usually what a scammer would do when they're able to take over an X account. They turn off the comments so nobody can say, hey, look out, this is a scam. You know, it's just, uh, you know, left left blank. And maybe they like it up with some bots or something. Cardano meme of the day goes to Pinky, says uh, IOHK Charles spotted at Diddy's all white party several times from 99 to 01. Here's here's the chuck wagon right here. Um, you know, looks to be a 20 something Charles, of course, if you did the math, Hoskins in 36 now, he'd been like 13, 14 years old back then. But uh, fun little tie in there from from our guy, uh, Pinky, who's always killing it in the meme game. Back tomorrow with more Cardano and crypto news here on the Ada Boys. Please like it on the way out. Thank you so much.